Hello lads, welcome back to the tutorial for the 720 blocks 6x6. This is a tutorial for idiots only because this door literally has a slab in the door frame or a non-solid block right there. And it has three locational bugs and it's kind of slow. Anyway, let's just see it. All right, that's the door open. Uh, as we do the tutorial, I'll show you how to fix all the locational things. And um, this door only works in 1.16. Anything else I have to say about it? No. All right, to get things started, you're gonna need a 10 by four by 18 area. Um, final warning, don't build this. You've been warned. So that's the layout, and now for the tape, you need one piston right here, one piston right there. The tape's going to be cycling along these blocks right here. The first locational thing you've got to look out for is when you just build up this contraption thingy. I already tested this location, I won't have it. Um, but sometimes what'll happen is if you place a block right here, it'll just get stuck. Like this piston will just extend like that, like it'll just get stuck. And like whenever you place a block there, this is going to happen. Uh, and the way to fix this is pretty simple. You just redirect this dust. That is the first of many locational things. Uh, but of course, I don't need this, so I'm just going to break it because I don't need it. Um, and now, we're just going to quickly do the input circuit. Shouldn't take that long. Lever block is going to be right here. Torch. Whatever. I'm probably going to be going like super fast because I kind of don't want to be here right now. Block sign because it's going to be part of the tape. Block here, torch, piston, observer, observer here. That's actually a sticky piston, not a piston. My bad. Uh, this is going to be a piston though. Don't know why I got rid of that. Uh, fill that in. Have a slider right here, observer. Have a dust right here. Don't worry, it's locational for now, but there's going to be a piston head here later that's going to be restricting uh, this piston from pushing. So just don't test this as of right now. We'll test the top before we go into the bottom, I promise. High pistons will be powered like that. Now for the tape, we're going to have two hoppers running into each other like this. Five items in this hopper right here tape uh, fill in these blocks as per usual I'll grab the comparator right here skipping that block run this down sticky piston observer down there away from the sticky piston I'm running a target right here piston right here I'm gonna be detecting when the floor moves like this Piston right here. You can already see this is just locational city right here. Torch and dust. So the other locational problem, fill this in, is uh, if we have a block right there and up in the observer, sometimes that won't happen. Sometimes it'll just like pulse that piston and just get stuck. So if this doesn't happen, then you're gonna need a locational fix, which I will show in just a moment. Uh, make sure you place this block in first and then place the redstone block here and fill those in, fill all that in too. Uh, locational fix is as follows. Grab a slab. So 
sort of like that, block and tripwire, like that. And so that means that this will power that piston always, and this thing right here will power that piston. So that's the locational fix. But then again, I don't need this, so I'm going to delete it. I'll go over them again at the end if you missed any. So there's the tape circuit. Place an immovable right here. And then you can test it. If your sides are done, I'm going to click the lever again. You see the tape will start. And it'll go. I'll just break this immovable block while it's going. And it'll stop. So yeah, there you go. That's the tape. I'll just do the top closing now. Be activated by rails right here. So we're facing this way, so we're facing up. Two observers like this. Two orange wool. This has to be an observer facing upwards for later. Block. And before we place any of this garbage, uh, I'm going to have this locational thing here. So we're going to have four droppers all facing towards this way. And the thing is, we're going to have dust running on them like this. And you're going to power it from this observer right here. And so what we're going to be testing is um, whether or not the items get stuck or go through two in a row. So you can see if we place comparators at all these, place an item in the first one, and place like a lever on this and just repeat, repeatedly flick it. And you can see the item will make its way through. And you can see right there, it just skipped one. You can see if I place an item in here, it'll just straight up disregard this dropper and just go right through. And that's because the dust, like somewhere over here, will update first. And then, yeah, it's like dust on top of like this dropper will update first because it's random. Uh, so basically, if, if for some really unlucky reason, you flick this and it skips no droppers, like it literally goes from here into the next dropper when you flick the lever. Like it literally does this when you flick the lever. Like it doesn't skip any of them. Then you're gonna need the locational fix. Uh, that's gonna be this. I'll grab pink wool because it's pink. You're gonna need that. Um, it's because we're gonna detect this and this observer needs to get pulsed. And if we just shove it through at least one, then that's it. Because if it doesn't skip through any of your droppers, then you're gonna need it. Like. Literally, we just need to skip one extra. So we just have this here, and it'll take any item from here out to there. So that's locational fix. Of course, I don't need this, so therefore I will not use it. And now, place a normal piston right there. I'll do a bit of an unconventional cart clip. Uh, let's just do a soul sand right here. I need a soul sand. Uh, break this redstone right here. Place two powered rails. Place a block right here. Place that and then place a hopper facing this direction, which is gonna be into a dropper right here, into a dropper right here, and then placing a hopper into this dropper, hopper into there, hopper, hopper, and that's gonna be the entire dropper loop. All right, so right here, I'm placing a minecart. Uh, you can just press F3B to see the hitbox. Push this until you can see its hitbox is over the top of the hopper. And then you can just power this piston. It'll get stuck up there. And that's it. Replace this dust, and that's the minecart clip done. So it's the only one in this entire build, so it's fine. Anyway, this is actually going to be purple because it mainly is used in this circuit. I'm going to have a dust right here because that's what's going to update everything. Oh my god, please give me a slab. Dust right here. It's going to update those pistons right there. And I'm going to have repeaters on all these. So, I'm going to actually place this input right here. These have to be lamps. Place observers running out of these lamps. That's going to be mainly for the quad extension. So, I'm going to add that updater right here. And then we're going to finish off our top closing on this side. The really stupid pulse that is just so hard to get. But this is pretty epic way of doing it, so. Normal piston right there. Dust on there. I'm gonna have a dropper facing downwards here, a dropper facing upwards here. So basically two droppers facing into each other. Uh, we're gonna have 
pink wool in the bottom one. Right there. And that's going to be depowering this uh, to let items through. And it also pulses this right there. So yep, that is going to be our entire top closing finished. Uh, also make sure you replace this observer because this apparently isn't there now. So yeah, there you go. All right, for the quad extension, I'm just going to see if I can get through this as quickly as possible. Hope you have eyes so you can kind of see what's going on here. Observer right there out of that one earlier we just placed. Torch. That right there. Go down here, place a piston right there. Sticky piston right there. Observer right there. Piston right here. Observer's all the way up to there. And then we're gonna have a piston right, sticky piston right there. Observer, block, rail, two tick repeater. And place uh, two observers right there. We're gonna push those into this mine cart. Uh, re remove that dust. That's the wrong direction. Oops. Wait, no, it's not the wrong direction. Oops, there we go. Um, yeah, place those in there. Just push them all the way down. Should have used normal pistons, but who cares? Um, let's see, is that it? Yeah, that's it for that side. All right, now we just have to get an output from this. So we're gonna use this right here. Have a slab, it's not a slab. Four tick repeater. I'll speed through this because it's pretty simple. Normal piston right there facing down. Sticky piston, observer. Have a dropper right here. Place an item in there. Hopper here. So we're facing downwards. So we're facing downwards again here. Two tick repeater. One, oh wait, uh, across, and then up, and then down. That's the entire top. Uh, we can go ahead and test this now. And we never added the items into this loop, so we can just do that now. So add the items in here. And that dropper, not the hopper, the dropper. Way back there, the one I'm pointing at. That's my mistake. Sorry. Place these things to see the tape is going. You can kind of place those blocks as it goes. Uh, if not, it's not a huge deal, it'll still work fine. I just have to remember to place these blocks at the end. Just remember to fill all these up or else it'll probably fail. And now you can see our items will be ending up one of them will always end up in here, and the other one will end up in here. Either here, here, or here. And since we tested earlier, we know that it goes through two at once right here, so we don't need the locational fix. So we can see if we test it again. Won't fail. The items end up in the hopper anyway. We already know this works. You see the item from the same place now. So, if, uh, just to recap, if you need the locational fix, it's uh, that. So, now we can move on to the bottom. Start things off like this. Have a green block right here. Bunch of random observers. Hopper. This is just circuitry for later. Place rails like this. Oops, that was an epic troll by that hopper right there. Um, so now go over here. Place a hopper. Run that down. Redstone dust. Place a dropper right here. Uh, I don't know, I like it better when it's facing upwards. So anyway, place observers like this. Like that, hopper there. That'll power those pistons right there. 
place observer is right here. Place observer here. And that's going to be going into two droppers facing into each other again. Just remember to place, just fill this up with a random item and then fill this up with a random different item. doesn't really matter what they are as long as they're different and all filled up. Uh, you can just have one item per slot. That'll silence it. That goes once per tape cycle. You don't want to hear a click per tape cycle. That's just total garbage. Um, anyway, go do this now. We have our slider right here. Observer right here facing upwards and normal piston right here. And that's this observer right here is the reason why this has to be a non-solid frame block. That's that zero tick slider, I guess. See, that works fine. That's almost the entire closing done. Just gonna need a couple more things here. Need a green wool right here. This is green because it uh, is kind of like the initiator of the quad circuit. I'm going to have a hopper right here, piston right here, activator rail right here. Doesn't matter which way it's facing. Observer, rail. Oops, three observers. Another line right here. Where is redstone dust in this place? There apparently is none. Oh, it's right there. Um, two tick repeater to a block. Like that. Have a block right here. Dust. Observer facing this way. Sticky piston there. Block. One tick repeater. Uh, just grab a gravity block like sand. I'm going to use yellow concrete because it's just color coded sand. Sand, gravel, concrete powder, doesn't matter. Uh, observer facing upwards. Repeater. Sticky piston, observer. Uh, I'd break that sticky piston for now. Place an observer here. Uh, just place it back. And then place an observer coming out of that observer right there. That's basically going to control the different iterations of the quad circuit. And that's actually the entirety of the closing done. So we have all the space left for the opening and a couple of systems in place. So what we're going to do to start the quad out of this, have a dropper with 19 items in it. I don't have any room in my inventory. That's rather unfortunate. Ah. No, that was 19. Yes, all right, 19 items in that dropper. All right, and for later, we're gonna have an observer right there, comparator. I'm gonna run that through a block into a four tick repeater right here, done over here, so we're facing upwards, so we're facing into this dust, and that'll do, wait, it's over there, there we go, that'll do the entire double extension, look, actually I think I forgot to place two observers, let me go check, observer right there, yes I did, I forgot to place these, uh, over on this side, place those two observers, that's going to retract the blocks after the tape, back to here. So we're facing upwards, block, so over here. I don't want to bother to explain at this point because I'm just kind of speed running. Have fun trying to figure out how this works. All right, that's the entire quad. So now we can test this. Please tell me I didn't mess up. Probably messed up something stupid. Nope, didn't mess up. Let's go. All right, that's the door. Fill in the frame blocks. Skip that one intentional. Alright, then this one. Uh, when, what you can do is if you're using like quartz or whatever other thing, just use a quartz stair. Uh, that's non-solid. Basically, all it has to do is not be able to power it through a block. So like, just set the clock here or something. And whatever block doesn't power that. You can see a quartz stair doesn't, whereas a quartz block would. So we need to have a quartz stair there. 
Um, Meanwhile. Go over the locational fixes again. Ow! That was so loud. Oh my god. All right, anyway, so backstory. Basically, I have a program on my computer that's like, oh yeah, every single second, there's a one in a hundred thousand chance you get ear raped, and it just happened, so that's kind of epic gaming. Um, that's that locational fix. Last one is this one. Okay, so what if you get the fix? It has no cooldown time at all. As long as you don't hear pistons moving, you can activate it again. There you go. It's done. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm just going to delete all my locational fixes now because I kind of like to do the fix. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.